What's your thoughts on pro wrestling? What's pro wrestling? Oh, Duke, you're hired. CM Punk, Brian Danielson, Malachi Black, Ruby Soho, and so many other talents are joining AEW, and they are clearly becoming an alternative to WWE. AEW talents know quite well, as they have often mocked WWE and Vince McMahon, because cheap heat, I guess, is still heat. I'm Kevin, and here are five times AEW stars took a shot at WWE. Number five. Chris Jericho mocks Brock Lesnar. At Money in the Bank 2019, WWE made the controversial decision to have Brock Lesnar enter the men's Money in the Bank ladder match at the very last minute. Mustafa Ali was a second away from winning the precious briefcase, and he later revealed that he was in fact told that day he would win the match. Former AEW World Champion Chris Jericho joined the discussion online and took a shot at Brock Lesnar by stating that he was the future of the business and him winning the contract was genius booking. Jericho and Lesnar don't exactly have the best history together. Post SummerSlam 2016, Jericho reportedly confronted Lesnar after his match against Randy Orton and the two had to be physically separated. However, Jericho later stated it was all water under the bridge. So perhaps his tweet against WWE and Lesnar was more of a shot at his former employer handling a younger talent than the Beast Incarnate himself. Number 4. Cody Rhodes takes a shot at Triple H. At AEW Double or Nothing, Cody Rhodes took a massive shot at the throne of the King of Kings. Ahead of his instant classic match against his brother, Dustin Rhodes, Cody made a statement in his entrance by taking a sledgehammer and smashing the throne of the game. While making it clear he grew up a big Triple H fan, the smashing of the throne primarily represented one thing, his post-WWE success. According to the AEW EVP, it was his own shot, not an AEW shot. Sure. Sure, sure, yeah, you know, because there wasn't a production crew that had to make that throne to bring it in for AEW? I don't know, it's a stretch. Cody has become one of the most successful wrestlers in the world since leaving WWE. He had a huge chip on his shoulder, and this was certainly a way to hammer it off, and this was all over three years of hard work culminating in one moment. So that part makes sense. Plus, breaking stuff with a hammer is cool. Number three, the Young Bucks. Just for context, it was mid-2000, 2019, and despite the first episode of Dynamite being months away from airing, AEW made a considerably big statement. This is when WWE was reportedly still hoarding talent in the eyes of some within the industry, which makes it ironic since some talent would be released from the company just a few years later. It was an episode of Being the Elite, and Peter Avalon was upset at the Young Bucks for not getting him his long-teased librarian gimmick. He threatened to leave AEW, but the Young Bucks did not denied him his release request, taking a shot at WWE doing the same thing. The situation was specifically referred to by the revival and the late great Luke Harper, aka Brody Lee, all of whom asked for their WWE release, but were denied. They mockingly said the following, you know what we're going to do. We're going to send you home and you're going to collect a paycheck after paycheck. How does that sound? Number two, John Moxley mocks the WWE Thunderdome. Former AEW world champion, John Moxley, isn't a big fan of WWE anymore. Moxley joined AEW at the first Double or Nothing pay-per-view in 2019. He seems to be in a much better place, and over two years in AEW, Moxley has reinvigorated his passion for professional wrestling. Speaking of big old Papa Dave Meltzer of the Wrestling Observer Newsletter, in an interview, Moxley said that nothing in WWE will change until Vince McMahon is gone. He also took heavy shots at the WWE Thunderdome. All the LED boards and and their Thunderdome isn't going to fix their problems. And it's just a matter of how WWE wanted to deal with not being able to have fans during the pandemic, but to each their own, right? Number one, Chris Jericho defending fellow legends in wrestling. When Paul White, formerly known as The Big Show, joined AEW in early 2021, it came as a bit of a surprise. Fans thought that his in-ring career was done for good, and he was simply going to be a part of WWE for life. However, his move to AEW in 2021 21 proved that he had a lot more to offer and not just in the ring. Speaking to Digital Spy, Chris Jericho took some more shots at WWE for how they handled a man called Sting and Big Show slash Paul White over the last few years. He said they were almost insulted in their WWE runs. The inaugural AEW World Champ stated that Tony Khan's promotion treats their legends with respect, unlike their competitor. Jericho added that AEW knows how to make legends look great even if they're not inside the squared circle.
Jericho. Jericho may come off too strong on this stance, but there's no denying that AEW has very well utilized Sting and Paul White in secondary roles to complement current younger in-ring talent. 